What up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to be learning a pretty cool advanced topic in regards to Selenium WebDriver, something I'm very excited to teach and I'm very excited to show you guys because I think it's really awesome and it's going to take your automated software testing to a completely new level. And that is parallel testing with Selenium WebDriver and Visual Studio with C Sharp. So today what I'm going to cover for you guys is parallel testing locally with Selenium WebDriver. We're going to get familiar with that. That's going to be our first step. We're going to get to know it. And then we're going to move on to parallel testing with Browser Stack. Browser Stack is a cloud-based service that allows you to run your automated software tests in the cloud. And I'll teach you guys how to do that. And finally, we're going to learn how to do automated software testing in parallel in Sauce Labs. Sauce Labs is very similar to Browser Stack. However, I think it's much more popular and I like Sauce Labs much more. But I'm going to teach you guys how to utilize both of these tools because we don't always have our first preference because, you know, whatever reason if for the employer, for example, at our job, we use browser stack, although I would much rather prefer that we use sauce labs. But again, it's not my choice, not my budget. Therefore, sometimes you don't have options. So I'm going to teach you both of them. Before we get started, there are some prerequisites that I want you guys to know. I don't want you just jumping into this course thinking that it's a beginner's course where you're going to learn everything for a beginner. It is not. This is actually an advanced course. And I expect that you have Visual Studio downloaded. I have Visual Studio 2015 at the current moment. I also expect that you have no C Sharp pretty well as an automation engineer and you know Visual Studio and how to interact with it. And finally, I expect that you know Selenium WebDriver. So as you can see, this is a pretty advanced video tutorial. Of course, if you're a beginner, you can watch it, but you're going to be pretty lost if you don't have an understanding of these three topics. And if you are a beginner and you don't have an understanding of these three topics, or even if you are intermediate or advanced and you would like a better understanding of these topics, you could always go take my full, complete Selenium WebDriver course, which is over here at courses.ultimateqa.com. And the complete Selenium WebDriver course is going to teach you all of those topics that you need in order to get started with Selenium WebDriver. C Sharp, Visual Studio, Selenium WebDriver, you're going to learn all of that. And then you would be ready to watch this tutorial. Now, an optional tool that you may or may not want is ReSharper. I personally use ReSharper. I love it. And I'm going to be utilizing it throughout this tutorial. It's free. There's a free trial that you can get. So you may want it, but you don't need it. You can do this with Visual Studio commands as well. And finally, I would just like to go over a few of the extra resources that you may need. Now, if you want to download this code that I'm going to go over, it's located here at my GitHub account slash anadvalod slash parallel testing tutorial. That's right here. You can download it. Okay. If you don't know how to download this code, I have a tutorial on my secondary blog, qtptutorial.net. You can just go here and in the search menu, you can search for GitHub and it's going to pull you up this article on how to download a GitHub project and open it in Visual Studio right here. I apologize right there. Okay, so the, here's the article or you can remember the link. And if you want to know how to use ReSharper, I also have an article about that. It's free as well. And you can do the same thing, qtptutorial.net slash this link if you want to remember it. Or you can always just go to the search, just put in ReSharper, it's going to find it for you and you can follow that tutorial. Those are just extra resources if you don't know how to use GitHub or ReSharper. And of course, there's my courses website that teaches you everything you need to know for this course. Now, with all of that said, if you know all of that and you are ready to get started, let's go ahead and dive right in. This is going to be awesome. 